nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Good morning, Hannah and Jeremy. I'm so happy to see both of you today. Good morning. Hello, hello. I had such a good time watching this show, and it just really caught me off guard. Beginning with you, Hannah, I just love a strong woman boss and a subservient male <laughs> assistant. I love yes! it. <laughs> so do I. Was it difficult? How difficult was it to keep Jeremy in line on and off the camera? Do you know what? It was, I, I think we just, we are both so lucky, and I don't mean this in, in an arrogant way, speaking on my part, but we're both so lucky that we just arrived on day one and read through the scripts and were like, yeah. We've got this, weren't we? Yeah. We were just, yeah. we just got on brilliantly. We, we felt who each of them were. We felt the rhythm of where they both sat in the hierarchy, the rhythm of both their, the, the way they spoke. And, and, uh, I mean, I'm so lucky that I, you know, you, you, you never know how it's going to work out, but, mm. um, I couldn't have asked for a better Higgins. I'm not just saying that cause he's here. I really couldn't have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bless you, Johnny. It's um, true. Yeah, well, it's, lovely. It, was all, it, it was all He's very clear. He's not lovely, Jandra. Yes, he is. <laughs> he it's is. all very clear in the script, but what, what, what wasn't quite clear yet, uh, Jandra, was it's like, it's like, I get it, so where's it going to go from here? And, of course, that's, that was what was such a thrill, the development of their relationship. And, and you know, and, and then, it, you know, it unfolds how, you know, what they've been through together and that they have been friends and that's been a bit sort of damaged by the whole divorce and what Higgins has done, which is a little bit, um, you know, duplicitous. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and they, they have to kind of regroup and recalibrate throughout the whole series, really. Mm, right. It's difficult to be the friend in the middle sometime when, you know, you're being torn in both directions, work friends, personal friends, no matter what yeah. your relationship is with um jeremy when you when you approach a part like this and you have to maybe be a little subservient and, and but still be strong and and do that work where do where do you reach from do you have experiences in your life where you were that friend caught in the middle that helped you kind of navigate <laughs> through this <laughs> um i do like to smooth the waters on, on things um i think i'm a little bit more proactive than higgins but you know, you just have to think, what would it be like if I just was a bit more confused <laughs> than I already <laughs> am? <laughs> and winging it a little bit, because that's oh. kind of what he has to do. Because, you know, Rebecca is a very strong character. And, um, you know, he's, he, you know, he, and particularly in, in this circumstance, he's got a, he never knows quite what Rebecca is going to get that day. You know, which and which, whose fault is that, my friend? I know, I know. All of Higgins. Shame, oh, shame, shame on Higgins. Yeah, shame yeah. What <laughs> one of the best parts of this for me was just deciphering as an American all of the British slang that I learned during okay. the course of the show. <laughs> you know, I have I have colleagues and friends, so I've heard some of it, but there were some new ones to me. Uh, that you guys said to each other, what is the most popular, what is the most popular thing that you say in your day-to-day -day life as part of your British slang? That's going to be new to a lot of people watching this show. Um, oh, I don't know. I, I mean, think swear-wise. I was going to say swearing. I, I, said, I said knackers, which is <laughs> male <laughs> balls. Yeah, uh, which but I but I like to, I like to keep that one going because it's a bit of a nineteen seventies word. So I like to I like to keep it going. But um, I would say in general, I don't I I wouldn't say I use particularly British vernacular. Um, but there were a couple of a couple of times in filming when when <laughs> Jason I can't remember when they were particularly, but when when Jason was just like, wait, hold on, what? Do, I mean, when we were when myself and and Jeremy were just chatting between scenes. And he was like, it's literally like you've come out of Dickensian in London right now. And you two have like this weird <laughs> language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. One of my answer to your question is I don't know what things that are weird for us. You know, they, it's not weird for us. So I, I you know, I wouldn't know. You'd, you'd have to be with us for a little while to, to see us I talking would, a load of bollocks. That would be great. Well, there <laughs> is a hook 
Thank you so much. I really loved it. I cried. I laughed. Thank you so much for your uh, time this morning. Oh, thank you. Have a lovely day. We'll you again. You too. Well. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.